Ed and I have been married now for 20 years. Ed's told me he's thought about other women, sexted, chatted with different women throughout our marriage. I've never had sex with any of the women I've communicated with or touched their bodies. Even though Ed's given me a list of women that he's cheated with, I've never been able to prove that Ed has physically cheated on me. I've taken pictures of his clothes, looked in his phone at messages, his work emails, and I have looked in his car. Sarah spends a lot of time looking for evidence of affairs. This is a photo of Ed's car with smeared glittered lip gloss, pink hair, I don't have pink hair, a broken red fingernail, I don't have fingernails, a footprint on the back of a seat, a footprint on headrest, and if I had to guess, he was having sex in his car. I took two of Ed's laptop computers into a forensics computer store. I found out that Ed would send beanie invites to fellow coworkers and put secret messages within the invite. It was white text, and so you had to highlight the text and put a color to it so you could see it. These are pictures of Ed's shirts, and that is the back of the upper neck where it looks like more footprints in here. I've given her every ounce of truth that I can many times over. She's still very much unsatisfied. I've tried as hard as possible to find evidence against Ed, and it doesn't matter. He always denies it. It just makes me feel like I'm going crazy. Well, Sarah says Ed's given her plenty of reasons to feel crazy. Ed's been lying to me the entire time I've known him, but I didn't find out that he was lying to me until 2003. I found an email that Ed had sent to another woman that said, if we're gonna do this, we need to be careful. When I questioned Ed about the email, he said it was just a joke. Shortly after the email, Sarah had gone through my phone bill. She recognized that there was a phone number on there that was on there at all hours of the day and repeatedly. When I called the number, out of curiosity, a woman answered. He said it was a woman at work that he'd been talking to and he knew it was inappropriate and he'd stop. We did stop communicating, but I had a work relationship that required us to still have emails and that conversation unfortunately became more and more friendly again and within a few weeks we were communicating inappropriately again. This woman that Ed cheated with is a disgusting pig. She crashed our vacation in Disneyland. He stayed in a hotel room with her overnight. I had phone sex with her and swears he never touched her body parts anywhere or ever kissed her. We lied in bed together, talked intimately to one another. They just laid there looking to each other's eyes and talking. It's insane. It's not possible. The emotional affair lasted two and a half years. 12 years later, I believe Ed's still in a relationship with this woman. Okay, uh, let me start this out by asking you what you want the focus to be while you're here. He and I, what do we do? Is it savable? Is it not savable? Do I know everything? I don't feel like I do. Um, and I don't know what to do with that. I don't know how to Okay, well, I'll let you ask that. a million questions. Ed, what, what do you want to focus on while you're here? General interest is how to rebuild trust and communicate. I think that's really what we've lost all capability how to do. Or do you think you're trustworthy? I believe so. Uh, so you don't think that she has any reason at this point, maybe in the past, because you said in the past you hadn't always been forthcoming That's with her, right. but you think now that she has no reason to not trust you at all? That's correct. Is this what y'all want to talk about? Whether or not you can trust him or whether you can't? Because I, I know, know one of the things you've said yeah. to my team, yeah. who has worked really hard to try and get this prepared for me to, to focus on what you guys want to, mm -hmm. is that you didn't like the focus. You, you didn't like what we were asking questions about. So just, just hit the erase right. button on all that. You're totally no. in control. We'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. You just tell me, ask me questions, and I'll answer them. We'll do whatever you want to talk about. No, I, it's not that I didn't like the focus. Oh, but... actually, that is what you said, because I have it right here written down. That is what you said, So, but it that's is. okay. It is, but... We'll, we'll just hit the erase sense. button on right. that. We'll talk about what you want to talk about now. Truth. Telling, I don't think he's telling the truth. And I think I have huge trust issues. He's not the nicest person that he could be. He's pretty self-centered. I think that's why I said I didn't like the focus because we were just looking at one piece of the prongs. And what piece was that? It was the the sex addiction. The cheating and, and all? The, yeah, and it was like, okay, yeah. well, yeah, that is huge because trust okay. is a main thing.